Online Help gives you search-based access to the information you need. Let's say I want to learn more about arrays. By default, the user type is set to show all content, and the search is set to include Autodesk web results like knowledge-based content discussion groups and blogs. You can refine your results by choosing a different user type. For example, choose User to see only end-user content. Now let's say you only want to see commands or system variables. We have filters to help you do that. I can filter on commands, or system variables, or both. If you want to see an alphabetical list of commands or system variables, these links on the home page will take you there. If you're interested in seeing which commands and system variables were changed or added for this release, search for Updated Commands and you'll find our topic, Updated Commands and System Variables, which has related references to new commands and obsolete commands. Speaking of related references, at the bottom of every topic you'll find links to that topic's related tasks, references, and concepts. These links will guide you to more information. Specifically, you'll see that every topic has a Commands for link, which takes you to a list of commands and system variables that are relevant to that topic. Let's go back to the user type. If you are a developer, you can set your user type and then filter on the language you're interested in. If you're an administrator, you can choose that user type and then filter on the kind of work you're doing. Although our help is now internet-based, if you need a copy to use when you're offline, you can download it from the home page or from the help menu. By default, help content is accessed online, but there is an option to turn off accessing online content if you prefer. In the upper right corner of every topic, you'll see the home, favorites, share, and print buttons. You can add topics to your favorites list or share a link to a topic. Let's go back to the home page where you'll find links to additional content like our Hitchhiker's Guide to AutoCAD Basics and our Guide to CAD Management. The Hitchhiker's Guide is your guide to the basic 42 commands you need to create 2D drawings using AutoCAD or AutoCAD LT. This is a great place to get started if you're new or it's been a while since you used the application.